Nothing says incoming aneurysm quite as much as a government-run gun safety committee that has little to do with actual safety and everything to do with gun control. As it turns out, there is a new bill in the House of Representatives, and boy, oh boy, is it a load of anti-freedom gobbledygook. <laughs> we'll break it down after this. If you need gun accessories, check out Fab Defense. They have all kinds of parts for the AR platforms, like pistol grips, butt stocks, foregrips, and more. I'm really enjoying this sort of mid-range setup on my digital camo AR with the wrap stock, gratis grip, and spike bipod. There's also flip-up sights and parts for your AK or even your pistol. From long-range setups to compact AR pistols and everything in between, Fab Defense has something for everyone. To learn more, check out fab-defense.com. Welcome back to The Gun Collective. My name is John Patton and you are watching The Fight for Gun Rights. This is a show all about Second Amendment news and we would love it if you got subscribed, followed us over on Instagram, or if you're watching us on Instagram, follow us here, or just leave a like on the video. That is always helpful. Today, we have another anti-American bill for you, this time coming out of Congress, and it's called HR 5273. It's otherwise known as the Gun Safety Board and Research Act of 2021. It's sponsored by Representative Mark Saulnier. I don't know if that's actually how it's pronounced, a Democrat out of California, specifically an area right outside of San Francisco, and co-sponsored by Representative Jamie Raskin, a Democrat out of Maryland with a spectacular example of gerrymandering in his district outside of DC. Look at that map. Wow. Anyway, so the Gun Safety Board and Research Act, it has some gems in it. Section two is where things get going. Subsection A mandates that the Secretary of Health and Human Services shall establish a board known as the Gun Safety Board no later than one year after the enactment of this act. So when this goes into effect, they got one year to create something. Before we go any further, let's take a look at who that is right now. Let's just see. Xavier Becerra, AKA the former attorney general of the state of California and one of the most anti-gun slime balls alive today. That would be the person who would appoint the people on this new board this gun safety board, assuming he's still in office, of course. Subsection B is called duties, and it outlines the duties of this board. Why did I even include that in the script? <laughs> anyway, it says the board shall, not later than two years after the date of enactment of this act, again with that language, establish a program that uses not less than half of the amounts appropriated under this act to provide grants that the recipients shall use to, ooh, more subsections, conduct original research about firearm violence reduction, no safety there, to educate members of the public about causes and effects of firearm violence and ways to reduce firearm violence. That's funny, nothing yet about teaching how to use a gun safely. I wonder if they'll ever get to that. <laughs> Foreshadowing, right? The Gun Safety Board shall also conduct original research about firearm violence reduction and publish in the Federal Register and the HHS website annually policy and funding recommendations for potential federal, state, and local action based on available scientific research about firearm violence and a list of subject areas related to firearm violence reduction that the board finds would benefit from additional research. So to me, that's basically an annual list of sample gun control laws that they are required to publish. Also annually, they have to report their findings about the efficacy whether it works or not, of existing state and federal laws intended to reduce firearm violence and the expected efficacy of proposed state and federal legislation intended to reduce firearm violence and in reducing, get ready for this, domestic violence, suicide and attempted suicide, chronic community violence, police violence, mass shootings, hate crimes, school shootings, healthcare related expenditures for victims in firearm caused cases, hospital interventions, broader socioeconomic impacts of chronic gun violence, diversions of firearms, including straw purchasing and gun trafficking, and unintentional shootings. Wow, all that and still no effort to teach actual gun safety. Hmm, it's weird, right? <laughs> I'd also like to point out that they are not looking at the causes of these events, but rather the laws surrounding them. 
I mean, wouldn't it be prudent to look at the socioeconomic causes of inner city violence where firearms are involved? Notice that I didn't call it gun violence because the gun was a mere tool in that scenario, right? Like I have a brain, I can separate the two. Can I also point out that hate crimes are subjective and that hate itself is subjective and therefore creating laws surrounding that is incredibly dangerous and could ultimately lead to the fabric of society crumbling based on one's own perception of fear and hate. Oh, it gets better, my friends. Subsection C is called membership, and it covers who is going to be on this board. There are a lot of different types here, and you'll just kind of get it after I cover this. So, okay, so there are to be 22 members of this board, all appointed by the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Not elected, but somehow they will have influence on gun laws. Funny how that works. The composition of the board will be as follows. Get ready for this. One person from each of the following categories, expert in public health, expert in mental health care, expert in firearm violence reduction research, expert in trauma surgery, expert in law enforcement, someone with a background in gun manufacturing sales, professional gun use or recreational gun use. So basically any random fake gun advocate can be shoved in there. Two members representing victims of gun violence, because somehow they are policy experts based on being shot at or affected by that. Someone representing a nonprofit organization that advocates for racial justice. Why is that on a gun control thing? Someone representing a nonprofit organization that advocates or engages in firearm violence intervention or prevention. And get ready, here comes the government arm of this. One person from each of the following government organizations the National Institutes of Health, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Yeah, the CDC is somehow involved in gun safety. Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the FBI, the Department of Health and Human Services. That's another person. The ATF, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, whatever that is. The Office of Victims of Crime, the Office on Violence Against Women, and the National Institute of Justice. Holy shit, that is a massive amount of unelected douchebags. I want to point out that there is still no major effort to teach gun safety, but rather push gun control here. I mean, if this was actually about gun safety, like it says in the name, wouldn't there be a ton of gun experts or people that can teach those sorts of things on this board? That would be a primary thing you would think, right? But wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, it keeps going. Subsection D covers how long these folks will hold these seats. As designated by the Secretary of Health and Human Services at the time they are appointed, three people will have a term of four years, two will have a term of three years, two will have a term of two years, and two will have one year. Strangely, that only covers nine positions, so who knows what will happen with the rest of them. The rest of the bill goes on to lay out that these people will get paid for this and travel expenses will be covered. And then the secretary will appoint a chair, vice chair, and some other nonsense. And the last two sections are sort of the cherry on top. Subsection L says the amount of money appropriated in the first two years for this board is $5 million each year. And then after that first two years, $25 million each. So not based on actual data of their success, it's just here's 10 mil for the first two years and then 25 million for every year after that. The 5X, the first two years, just because. I need a job that pays like that, even if I'm useless. And finally, section M, oh boy, section M. It says the amounts made available for federal gun violence research other than under this act shall not be reduced in order to provide funds to carry out this act. So basically the money we say we're gonna get for this is not going to get reduced so we can continue this charade of gun control disguised as gun safety. Did you notice that nowhere, absolutely nowhere, was there to be representation from any pro-gun nonprofits? No representation from any pro-gun mental health nonprofits? No representation from any significant gun interests at all, really. It's not really surprising, but it does piss me off. How dare these charlatans pretend that they're going to help people by doing anything besides restricting the rights of gun owners? How dare they act like this has anything to do with safety? How dare they pretend that firearms are a health crisis? Like I've been saying, this is all manipulative language and the elected officials bringing this forth should be ashamed of themselves for attempting it. 
I want to hear from you guys, though. Which part of this is the worst for gun owners? Do you think a board like this will actually come to be during the Biden administration? Will this happen? Sound off in the comment section and let's talk about it. Be sure to hit the like button on this video, share it with your friends so they know what's going on. Don't forget to get subscribed. And if you guys want to grab yourself some of our new Tenacity coffee blend, be sure to hit the link in the video description. We really do appreciate that. It directly supports us. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.